Rodney, Brighton fan, uh, very happy day for you guys. Seagulls! <laughs> Come on! Let's let them out. The happiest I've seen. Our home form has been rubbish, but today that home form came together in a way that we played and our strikers delivered. You know what yeah. I mean? We scored. I can't believe. I was going for a win at the beginning. I put me a 1 0, 2 0, 4 0. I just couldn't see it. I mean, you said it there. I mean, you, we've watched Brighton. I think a few of us have said it before the game now. You've deserved more in certain games. Is that what happens when it all comes together? Yeah, that's it. And that's once we we have the team there, but we just have to put it all together to play. And we've been playing like that all season. It's just our chances, just having created stuff like that. And uh, But man, today I was really, really shocked by Man United, what they brought. I thought there was a, maybe some fight, something there, nothing. Was I was the, just shocked. I was, was like, oh my God. Thing, what was the biggest surprise that you got from that United team today? And that Lack of passion. There was no passion. At least someone like Matic or something, he was alright, at least tried the tackles. You know, do, at, at least do some tackle or do something to sort of, you know, you know, some anger in the way you've been playing. Everybody was passing one, two at the back, three, four. And it was just like, for me, I, I, I team, it was Bissouma Casado in the midfield. You know what I mean? And I thought, also, you've got to be fair, man. Our, keep, our goalkeeper was great. Sanchez, the guy was just amazing. And he made some great saves. So, you know, before Neil's a bit, yeah, because if you score a few of those goals, it could have been closer, but it is what it is. That's it, mate. I mean, in terms of your time here at this stadium is that the best day for you oh definitely i can't but this season for sure you know what i mean our home form we've been playing like this all season we just haven't scored and that's our main problem everybody will say that so hopefully in the summer we get like a striker that you know i mean a number nine and hopefully we can actually deliver and we are pushing for Europe, Europa League, something like that, you know what I mean? It's I like, say, that's a dream. I would say if you had that strike card, then that would definitely be a possibility at least. I mean, are you worried as a Brighton fan that them sort of performances may attract bigger teams, bigger fish and take them away in the summer? Yeah, round? yeah, I think, you, you know, like the biggest fish right now is Bissouma. I think the bigger teams will come he in the summer and then he'll, he'll come in the summer, he'll go. But that's our club, you know, we, we, if, if the right price, Ben White, 50 million, I'm like, thank you, 50 mil, we, you know, it's like, thank you. You know what I mean? So the, if you've got the big money, the bigger clubs, the, and, and to be honest, like, like Bizuma, he, he's a great player, the best midfielder we've had in, in for, for a long time. And, you know, if you go to the Champions League for a bigger league, we wish him all the best. That's what we do. As Brown Sprite fans, we wish all the players all the best when they move forward because they delivered for us. Our main top top 10 this season. Yeah. Can't believe it. I've got a very important question for you right now, though, mate. Rodney, which one, or if any of them United fans, get in that Brighton team for you after that performance today? Well, boy, I, I really have no idea. <laughs> everybody was poor. I was just like, oh my God. You know what I mean? Everybody, I mean, we had a, a record attendance today because, in a way, we were like. Ronaldo was playing, you know what I mean? That's a bit of like, you know, it's been 25 years, our history, since we, 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 we beat Hereford in the Division 3, all Division 3. We, we, we drew that game to start in the league. Since, since then, 25 years to now, to play and watch Ronaldo and Man United has been an amazing, amazing history for us. And watching my, the Man United of old, it's just gone. No passion, no nothing. I was really shocked about that. It's Man United, man. You know, and I'm just like, what's going on in the club? And it's really sad. As a football fan, you know, you want to, you know, Man United is a glorious club and respect to them. You want them to, you know, to play the good football, stuff like that. So, you know, that's, it is how it is. I'll tell you what, I would flip that around and say there was a few players in that team that would easily walk into United's team right now. You've got to be proud of your team and how they've done. And like you said, the adapt, adapting here to the Premier League, stabilising and being solid in the Premier League. And now, yeah. looking ahead, like you said, then, like next season, with performances like this like you've had Wolves away Spurs away Spurs, Arsenal, Arsenal away yeah. your next target for you realistically uh, absolutely this year top 10 and next year we should be pushing for Europe I mean we've seen what Wolves Burnley you know they've done it they've done it there like that and we, we should follow that template it's like you know what I mean I would love to have a European Cup run. I know people call it farmer leagues, but for us, it'd be, a, you know I mean? we'd be, it'd be like amazing. You know what I mean? I don't care if you get lost like away or whatever, but going away, supporting our club is the best thing ever. And, and we've got a great manager, we've got a great owner, and the club is a community. Everybody just pulls it together because we've been through a lot over the years, and that's what keeps us together. And top 10 this season and Europa League next season, that'd be amazing. And we're going to keep going. Watch out next season. Well then, before you go, mate, 
Who is your man of the match there today? Well, we were discussing, I think, Gorella today, but I think you've got to respect Sanchez up there as well, who made some amazing saves. He's been, sometimes he's played a few games where he wasn't himself, and some fans were like, oh man, he's good. But today he delivered, that's why he's a number one. And you know, he'll carry on next season and stuff. Let's go. Well, then, cheers, cheers on, man. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, bro.